Hi guys, this is my first video, so I'll start with a little introduction about myself. I'm Wendy, and I'm 22 years old, and I study applied physics at the Technical University of Delft. So, that was a little bit about me, but what will I show to you guys? Now, I aim to make Dutch videos, and to tell you some about the history of the Dutch people, uh, and weird stuff, like stroopwafels for instance and what there is to do in different cities like the not so touristy places but still very pretty and interesting and maybe I will teach you some Dutch but mainly I want to focus and listen to you guys and make videos about what you guys find interesting but today I will start off with a little video about Delft the city that I live in and uh, some of the places that I find very pretty and interesting so, I'm going to start with the two churches in Delft. I will start off with the most famous one. It's called the Oude Jan, which roughly translates to the Old Jan. But uh, it's also referred to the Old Church, so I'm going to call it the Old Church. Uh, and of course, the other one is then called the New Church. The Old Church is from 1246 and is the oldest church uh, located in Delft. It also has a very sagging tower and it's often said to be more crooked than the Tower of Pisa. Although it's a very old church, it is still being used as one today. Every Sunday and on Christian holidays there are still services. Uh, I'm going to tell a little bit about the history of the church. It took quite a while to build this church. Bartholomeus van der Made took halfway the 13th century the job to expand the already existing church at the moment. The church of Duff was extended with two aisles and a choir. After this, between 1325 and 1350, the big tower was built in front of the church. When the church underwent a big renovation, the whole nave was renewed so the tower was also part of the church. But in the end of the 16th century, almost everything changed. We had a big fire in Delft in 1536, in which the church was also damaged pretty badly. And in 1566 and 1573, the iconoclasms hit and most of the church was destroyed. So if you go now, today, and admire the church by yourself, you can really see that the church is now built out of a range of different stones. Uh, if you would look closely to the tower, you can see that there is a knot in it. This is due to its building, because when the tower was built, it was built on a sand ridge. But while they were building it, it was sinking away. So they stabilized it, and uh, they decided to uh, go further with building, but now they would go straight. So you have half uh, a crooked tower and a straight tower on top of it. Um, in the church are also some graves, and I will name a few of them. Uh, Johannes Vermeer, the famous painter. Hubert Cornelis Poot, a poet. Martin Tromp, the famous seafarer. And Piet Hein, also a seafarer. And, well, this was all I have to tell about the old church. So, I will continue with the new church. So, now I will talk a little bit about the new church. The new church is located at the large market in Delft. The tower is almost 109 meters and after the Domtoren in Utrecht, it is the largest of the Netherlands. Uh, this church is most famous because the grave of Willem van Oranje is located inside of it. Willem van Oranje was shot by Balthasar Gerard in at Prinshof, also a, fame, a place in Delft. Uh, I will tell about this event and show at Prinshof after this little bit. Uh, the church was, it is also still in service and there are services each Sunday. Uh, if you want to climb the tower, uh, you can. Uh, it costs a small fee and then you can enjoy the sights from above the city. So, I will tell a little bit about the history of this church. Uh, now, well, because it was the second church built in Delft, it was called the New Church. 
in the summer of 1381 they started building this church, uh, but it was first attached wooden church. Two years later, they started building a stone basilisca around this church. And on 3 May 1536, the thunder struck uh, the tower uh, and then uh, the church caught on fire. This is probably the reason why there was a, a city fire which also destroyed the old church. In 1651, the church was hit again, but this time by the so-called Delftse Donderslag, in which an explosion occurred in the gunpowder storage of Delft. Uh, in the basement of the church lies the whole royal family, so everybody uh, who was who is member of the royal family, uh, so it still uh, is used as this today. Um, if they die, they will be buried in this church. Uh, but there are some other graves in this church as well, and the most famous one is uh, Hugo de Groot. He was a lawyer and writer. So this was uh, the bit about the new church, and uh, I will tell you some more about this square. On this square, every Thursday, we have little stalls with a variety of stuff. You can buy bread, fruits, cheese, fish, clouds, and much more. I still find this very interesting, because the supermarket and other stores are just down the street. And not a very long street, just maybe 50 meters ahead but i think this is typical dutch because you get the feeling that you live in a small town a sort of village feeling and i still visit the market and uh, sometimes i buy something because it's uh, relatively cheap if you know uh, the good places you can get uh, a bowl of fruit for a euro uh, yeah, it's it's okay. Uh, it doesn't have the quality at the supermarkets, but if you eat it that day, it it's still very fresh and uh, it's yummy. So I can understand why there is still a market and why people find it so much fun to go there. At the other side of this square, as you have already seen it, is the city hall. It currently doesn't function anymore as a city hall, but it functions as a bridal location, so you can get uh, married in it. Uh, it was also built in the 13th century, but it was remade in the 15th century. It survived the city fire of 1536, but it burned down on the 4th of March in 1618. It then was rebuilt in 1629. This is almost everything there's to know about the city hall, but it is a really typical uh, Dutch, uh, yeah, well, a Dutch city hall. In the circle, there is some old Dutch written. I will tell you what it says in Dutch, and I will then try my best to translate it for you. Uh, in Dutch, there's, in old Dutch, uh, it says elk, Wandel in God's wegen. Uh, this roughly translates to everyone walks in God's streets. And um, I think it's uh, uh, just a typical Dutch saying uh, of the Christianity uh, nearby a church. So, uh, this was the bit about the main square in Delft, and I will continue with. Het Prinshof en de dad of Willem van Oranje. So, I will now continue with the bit about Het Prinshof en de dad of Willem van Oranje. Het Prinshof roughly translates to the Prince's Court. It got this name because Willem van Oranje, a prince at the time, was staying very often in this monastery. Willem van Oranje was also known by his nickname Willem de Zwijger and was often called father of the fatherland by the Dutch. I will tell you guys only a bit about the murder, because for my very first video it is getting a bit long. But if you want the whole story, just ask me in the comments and I will make a separate video about the whole story of Willem van Oranje. So, on the 10th of July of 1584, the Frenchman Balthazar Gerard, who pretended to be Francois Guillaume, the attack. 
Willem van Oranje was lunching that day with Humbertus van Eulenburg. Uh, he was the mayor of Leeuwarden. Uh, he was also lunching with his sister, his wife and his daughter at, at Prince Wolf. And after this meal, Willem wanted to take the stairs to his room, but he was shot from very close by Gerard with a gun. Uh, three shots were fired and one of them hit uh, Willem through the heart, so he died instantly. Uh, it also got a muse museum in uh, which you can still see the bullet holes of this event. And in the garden there is a statue of Willem de Zwijger, his nickname. So, this was the end of my very first video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I would really like to know what you want to see next time. Uh, thanks for watching and bye!